chance to invite anyone for Christmas? Is it who I think it is? Your father is finally here this Christmas. Uh, this is my girlfriend, Jackie. Hey! Let's show him what he's missed. Well, for the last 27 years... Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 Christmas film, Father Christmas is Back. A film that is directed by Mick Davis and Philippe Martinez. And it stars Kelsey Grammer, John Cleese, Elizabeth Hurley, Natalie Cox, Chris Marshall, Ray Fearon and Caroline Quinton. Now this film focuses on the Christmas sisters, uh, or the Christmas family. Four sisters primarily who for the last 27 years have been without their father, James Christmas, played by Kelsey Grammer, who left them uh, 27 years previously. This one particular Christmas, all the family gets together and guess who turns up for Christmas? Yes, Kelsey Grammer's character, James Christmas, turns up with his new girlfriend from America to try and reconnect with his daughters. Right, what are my thoughts on Father Christmas is back? Well, uh, this, is, this is on Netflix. I watched this on Netflix um, with my wife last night. Um, and while it passes the time, and it was amusing at times, this, uh, because it's... It's, an, it's a comedy, or certainly it tries to be a comedy. And um, there are a couple of moments where it'll raise a smile and things like that, but very, very tame stuff. This it's, it's got a very British sense of humour, which won't surprise many of you because it's you know set in British and it's got a quintessential British cast here. Um, and the cast all do a reasonable job here. It's just they're not really given anything particularly interesting to do. I mean, you've got. What you, you can argue here, really quite talented cast, you know, to say nothing of, you know, you've got John Cleese, Kelsey Grammer, Chris Marshall, Caroline Quinton, Liz Hurley. Um, so you, you've got a lot of recognisable faces here and a lot of talent as well at the same time. And this this script here is just too lacklustre. Um, and I get that it's a Christmas film and it's all very treacly and sweet. And um, I just wish they'd have taken a little bit little few more risks with the comedy here it's just all a bit too gentle and a bit too sunday afternoon um you know move uh, tv movie type film this um it, it, it's got no bite to it really um and it's it, it is a little bit silly and i mean it's it, it's a waste of a lot of people's talent really here i mean you've got there's so much talent here in this film and they're just given very, very, very little to do, which I think is um, a real, real shame. Um, and it's it's so predictable at the same time. You know, you've got this father coming back after 27 years of being away. Clearly the daughters feel like he abandoned them because essentially he did. Um, and then slowly but surely, you know, he starts mending these bridges with his daughter as the film goes on. Um, you know, and the fog begins to lift as to why he left. And it's all very um, cheery and teary and emotional and very predictable. It's predictable. I mean, you can predict as soon as he turns up in regards to, you know, he's been gone all these years. It's a big part of who the family is um, and why Christmas is so important to them because he left them at Christmas 27 years ago, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then when he turns up, you know, you, can, you put two and two together very, very quickly and the film, rest of the film maps out exactly as you would expect. There are no surprises at all to speak of um, and every single character doesn't really have much what you, in the way of what you would describe as an arc. They give them any arc that they give them. Well, it's not really an arc. They give them... Each character has a very, very basic plot point in a sense of Liz Hurley is the bit of a madam that, you know, um, likes to spend lavishly and, you know, has never settled down and, you know, and she's with uh, a new relationship with this guy and you can kind of, you see where that's going to head, she's going to end up, you know, settling down with him, but it's all lovey-dovey. 
you've got the younger sister that's a bit of a rebel and a rogue, all this kind of stuff, and you've got another sister that's obsessed with the Beatles for some reason, and she's doing a thesis on the Beatles, she wants to write this book on the Beatles, it just seemed like a really odd thing to put in the film, but hey-ho. Um, and she's, um, turns out she's gay, wow, what a revelation, you know. Um, that felt really forced to me, that storyline. Um, and then you've got, like, the lead, Natalie Cox, whose house it is they're all going to, you know what I mean? And she's just, well, I quite, I liked her character, she was quite light and funny at times. Um, there was no arc at all for her character, really. She was just like the orchestrator of it all, really, the central character. Um, and then, again, Kelsey Grammer and John Cleese are given nowhere near enough to do, and occasionally, they're, certainly John Cleese, he'll, he'll throw a line out there, I suspect he possibly had lipped, and that's where you get a giggle now and again. Um, he'll, he'll, he'll drop an odd comedic gold line, John Cleese. Um, and you'll get an odd emotional scene with Kelsey Grammer that reminds you what a good actor he actually is. Um, you'll get a, f a couple of emotional dramatic scenes with his daughters so it tries to balance between comedy and drama and gets very emotional and stuff but it's just a very middling basic Christmas film that doesn't really offer anything new special and it's all very predictable but you could do far worse if you've got the relatives over and you want to put a nice gentle Christmas film on this will do nicely but don't expect anything special with it I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 so thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this review, I'll be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon.